Hey guys, what's up? It's Depermito. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm here in FL Studio and I'm going to be showing you guys how to make some emo trap beats, you know, like Lil Peep, um, X, Juice World, uh, you know, Convol, Kaguchi Highwaters, those type of guys. Um, even like 24K Golden and Ian Dior. Uh, so yeah, let's get into it. So I'm just going to, I got this uh, pattern in the playlist. Uh, it's eight bars long and I have dynamic guitars open. This is a free guitar VST and it sounds super good. Uh, so I'm just going to go with this and uh, yeah, so we're going to pick a scale. I like to do D sharp minor and yeah, you're going to be want to, you're going to want to be working in this minor natural scale uh, because it's not dark, but it's sad. So it sounds good. Uh, and this is the key that pretty much every single emo trap song is in. I mean, that's an exaggeration obviously, but for the most part. So we're just going to start off by getting a chord progression going. And I'm going to set the BPM to 165. Okay, that sounds good. Uh, so I'm going to copy these. I'm going to put that on the sampler channel just so that I can remember what the root notes are. And then I'm just going to turn these into chords. So you can hear that sounds good. And even though before we added in the chords, it sounded good, but then once we add in the chords, sometimes certain chords just sound like crap. So uh, we have to change them around a little bit. But this is really the basis of the whole song is just this chord progression. Uh, and now we can go ahead and mark down these root notes because we changed them. And I'm gonna just copy the pattern over like that. And then we can do, uh, I'm going to do what's called inversions. So it's just moving certain notes up or down the octave. Um, so yeah, this is good. So we're going to now uh, add the seventh on each of these. Okay, so you can hear that doesn't really sound good, but that's okay. Uh, because this isn't going to be how we leave this. Uh, we're going to make a few changes on where everything is. sounds cool so we're gonna duplicate that over like that and then I'm just going to let's see we can't do that but uh, I'm just gonna make sure that nothing is bleeding over and it doesn't look like it is so that sounds good I might do that yeah that sounds cool so now I'm going to press Control A and I'm going to press Alt and scroll down to select all of those and bring the velocities down a little bit. And I'm going to just do the same with this so that it looks the same, it looks cleaner. Uh, and then I'm going to press, there's two things we're going to do. So we're going to press Alt R first off and that's going to randomize the velocities. So that's why we brought it down is to give it a little headroom. Uh, and you want this guitar to sound realistic. So you could just record realistic guitar. I don't really like recording guitar. Um, but so you're going to randomize it and then you're going to strum it by pressing Alt S and we're going to go like there. And then we can press Alt A again and bring it up just a bit. Sounds good. So that's nice and simple. Next I'm going to come over and I'm going to grab expand and uh, we're going to get a bell. Um, probably like a synth bell or maybe maybe not a synth bell but we're gonna see um, so we're gonna look for a bell and we're just gonna make a really simple counter melody with that so that's sounding pretty good uh, and yeah I'm liking that so again we're going to randomize those but not as much as the guitar sounds cool and then we're gonna get expand again and I'm gonna put a pad in and then I might come to, let's see, uh, I might go to flex and I'm going to get another bell. I know exactly which one I want, I think. And um, I'm going to grab this sampler. I'm going to copy it onto it. So you can hear that sounding really good. 
Uh, and then we're just going to get the drums going. So I'm going to pick kind of a looser hi-hat. Sounds good. I'm going to do a two-step. Sounds good. We can bring the velocities on these down a little. That's sounding good. Uh, I'm going to come into this triple oscillator and we're just going to really quickly make a sub bass. And then that's it for the uh, beat and then we're going to mix it so we just press ctrl l to put it all in the mixer and we're going to start off with uh, fruity reverb 2 sounds good just to give it a little bit more uh, life and then we're going to do the same using fruity chorus to give it more life and we're going to turn this depth down right here Here, that sounds really good. Uh, that doesn't need any more effects. I do a quick EQ on this. Sometimes what I like to do is just have the first kick in for one bar because it helps it drop, but then after that, it lets the second bar drop harder as well because there's more kicks. And just leave the 808 and you'll hear that you can hear how it drops it kind of has like a double drop there so we're gonna have that go twice take a little bit of this reverb out it's just making it kind of washy then we can throw the tag in here and that'll pretty much be it all right and yeah that's so that's going to be the beat uh, I'll just let it play here a little bit at the end, but thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. Let me know what you want to see from me. Give it a like and a subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll talk to you all in the next video.